Hey everybody, how you doing? Mike Millard here with Orco Paper Systems. Um, wanted to make sure we ran through some uh, installation or more so costing uh, and how to bid uh, wood tile systems on roof deck pedestal systems. Uh, pedestal system, we use Bison. Um, typical for, for bidding, you're always gonna make sure that you use a uh, up to 12 inch uh, term in your bid, um, so not to exceed 12 inches. Uh, that way, if the deck changes or something happens, you're at least covered up to 12 and it's a little easier to bid that way. You can kind of control um, uh, the actual costs you know, if it's just freelance and just wide open, you could end up with a 28 inch deck and the pedestal cost twice as much as that, that you need, uh, or twice as much as you expected. Um, now pedestals are not cheap. You can figure anywhere from, for the actual total, total kit. Um, this is what usually comes as you'll see spacer tab, which you will need with wood, um, a 316 spacer tab and then the actual pedestal can be anywhere from $9 to uh, 13 bucks each. So you gotta be careful with those. Um, so going beyond that 12 inches, you can get up to you know, 20, 20 something odd dollars. Um, when to use the BB brace system. The BB brace system is used at 24 inch tall pedestals. So unless you're doing 24 inches to 36 inch uh, pedestals is kind of where they cap at. Um, you would not be using BB brace. Uh, so everything below 24 inches, don't worry about it. 24 inches, you will add the BB brace system. And for every pedestal that you have, you also need to add the little screw and uh, fastening. Uh, it's not necessarily a tool or fastening part. The FS1, um, it's a little circular disc with a notch out of it so you can still drop one tile in each corner. Remember, when you're bidding these, 24 inch uh, grids, grid layout is what you want to lay out in CAD so you can find um, uh, you can find out your actual layout, where to start. Uh, that's a big part of it too, uh, how many cuts you have, best way to eliminate cuts. So you always want to lay out a 24 inch grid for, uh, for doing, for bid purposes. That'll give you how many tiles you're actually going to need and that's the tile. You, you can still do the math, but if it's, you know, 24 by 48 uh, tile, uh, it's just, you know, obviously you're just, it's, instead of it being a 24 by 24, it's, it's, eight, it's eight square feet instead of four square feet. Um, but then you're also gonna use one pedestal per tile um, on a 24 by 24. It's the most economical layout. Now, if you go bigger to a 24 by 48, you're gonna increase it to two, two pieces per tile. Um, still, same thing. For every one, you're gonna have an FS1 fastener um, top. It's a little thing that screws the wood down to the pedestal itself. These things are fairly light, so you wanna make sure you screw them down. Um, they are wood, so they can uh, warp a little bit, so that's another reason for screwing them down as it um, keeps everything nice and tight and, and uh, keeps it fastened down to the system. Uh, so other parts for bidding, um, you're, you're gonna pretty much eliminate any air cuts. Um, you know, you look at your layout, if you've got halves, you can use, you can recycle those into other areas, but if you have a lot of edges, a lot of curves, um, you're gonna, a normal, system you're going to have 10 percent waste that you're going to factor in on a lot of curves and cuts you're going to have 12 and a half percent waste so you're going to increase that a little bit more and 12 and a half i've been pretty safe with in the past so um, you'll be okay there uh, the that's the waste factor as far as cuts goes make sure you use a carbide blade um, uh, with all these woods they're very dense so um, when you're cutting uh, make sure to eliminate any screws on the bottoms of the wood tiles um, before you go through those cuts, uh, so flip them over, draw out your line, and, and you know move out any screws so you're you're not trying to cut through those. Uh, uh, kind of a safety measure. Uh, so once you do that, carbide blade will cut through them. Um, and uh, as far as the layout goes, to go back to that, uh, any cuts you're just going to add additional pedestals under those. So for every cut, factor in you know another uh, another pedestal um, that you're going to actually use some construction type glue to adhere that pedestal to. So you might have one in the center or along the edge. Uh, still, you know, you're, most of the time you're gonna have a corner, so you'll be able to use the one pedestal um, and the uh, FS1 fastener uh, as much as possible. Uh, if you get too close to a layout, um, you know, try to scoot it over into CAD so you can see it and, you know, find out where to lay things out. But if you get too close, you can always shift the pedestal um, over a little bit and just, you know, it's it, if it's hitting the wall or hitting the, the edge,
packaging, you just make sure that you uh, use some construction glue to adhere the, uh, the actual tile down to the pedestal. Um, you might end up using one or two pieces of pedestal uh, in those areas. So along your perimeters is where it's really going to increase the amount of pedestals. So when we're doing the actual quoting for the installers on the manufacturer side, we factor in a 1.2 pedestal rate for uh, percentage for each pedestal uh, or each each tile. I'm sorry. The, now when the tiles increase in size, you go to 2.2. So if they're beyond, a, if they're bigger than a 24 by 24, um, but once again, as long as they're on a 24 inch module on one side, you're still going to be uh, 24 inches on center. Um, that only really changes if you go to, let's say, you know, if a concrete or if you found some type of wood that was a different size, let's say it's a 15 by 30, they would be 15 inches on center. So that's that's how that would work. And remember, just 1.2 or 2.2. Um, so that's how you factor in your pedestals. So you have that math, however many tiles times 2.2 or 1.2, uh, and that will give you how many pedestals that you're actually going to be using. Or just give us the square footage and we'll be able to do that part for you. Um, now heights, heights you're going to factor. Uh, you want to take the, uh, the actual tile out of the depression. So if you have a 12 inch depression, uh, you're only going to need up to 10 and a quarter inch pedestals. Uh, so that's that'll that'll give you the types of depressions you need. And if, if it's you know shallower in some areas, it goes down to four inches, you know, you're only gonna be using two inch pedestals or two and a quarter inch pedestal um, heights. So in the smaller you get, um, you can get into the waffle system where they're, you know, uh, half inch, three quarter inch uh, waffles and uh, you're shimming those and, and using glue. So, you know, you don't see too much where they're really, really short, but you typically will see like an inch, an inch pedestal, one, one and a half inch pedestal. Um, to 12 inches, that's pretty normal. The one and a half is below, um, it's called an LO. And then you're also gonna, on all of those, you're gonna use the, uh, the 3 16 spacer. Uh, you wanna make sure that the wood has the same gap on the edges as it does throughout the wood tile itself. If that makes sense, the wood tile has some spacing in it and it's a 3 16, so it just measures up and, and it keeps it a nice even look. Um, the best look is obviously a basket weave. When doing the ipe, if you do the decking, um, if you do the tiles in a runner, um, it's a little harder to, uh, you gotta make sure your your, uh, your tiles are real true. Now that's the other thing too, is you might face um, uh, the, the wood itself. Um, there's a couple different manufacturers and not all of them have the same quality. So, um, and a lot of these guys will pull from different places. You know, even if you're not buying it from Orco, you know, you can actually get something from other places and that wood, will, um, it, it can be a little off or a little warped or just, just how it is. It's wood. So you're going to have some, some issues. So always, always remember, it's not going to be a perfect world, but, um, you might have to do a little shaving here and there. Um, you know, hopefully not. And you can just adjust the system itself. But if you end up, uh, off axis a little bit, you know, just make sure to look around. If everything looks nice and straight, it's probably the wood. So you can see how true the wood is. Um, you might have to do a little shimming in some areas to, adjust some uh, some bowing that might be in the wood um, but that's what shims are for too so you can you can adjust that um, now when you shim and you butt up against um, that that fs1 fastener should pull everything down nice and tight but if it doesn't you just got to be careful that you don't have any lippage on the wood um, so we went over layout and cab 24 inches on center uh, 24 inch grids uh, so you can find all your cutting and where the best place place to start um, you got your waist 10, 10 on a normal and 12 and a half percent for a lot of cuts or a lot of curves. Um, you got your fastener tool that you'll need, uh, the FS ones to fasten and how it fastens screws into the top of the, the pedestal, you know, uh, the different types of pedestal, uh, when to factor in or in your bid, how to factor in, um, up to 12 inches so that you're not shooting yourself in the foot later and, and having to do a much higher system than you're allotted for. Um, and then it also just sets precedence for, you know, what the, what the GC might expect. You know, maybe they have the ability to put structural foam down and a decking, um, a, a structural slab or sorry, um, a topping slab over the top of the foam. So, you know, they might pour it at a certain amount so that you have your 12 inches. So that's, that's all you put. So that might give them a threshold to work with also, uh, make sure you factor in any cranes that you might need to get the, this, the actual, uh, product up to the roof deck. Um, don't give yourself too small of a window. Every time people do, they end up screwed. And uh, a lot of these things, will, the truckers will drop off from out of state, and you gotta, you know, 
six to five to six hour window. So don't don't shoot yourself in the foot by thinking you have a crane for three hours and you're all fine. Uh, the different types of wood. Now, that's a that's a trick that you uh, you should always uh, put in your bids. Is you know you're bidding an ePay deck system. Uh, one, if you bid an ePay deck system that has the three letters FSC after, make sure that you uh, uh, note that to the manufacturer because FSC is a much more expensive type of wood. It's forestry certified type of wood. That means they know exactly where that wood came from. Um, ePay can be a little controversial in the fact that it is a um, rainforest type wood and it's grown down in South America. It's in abundance, but they uh, um, you got to make sure that uh, it's not uh, illegally farmed. So uh, FSC means they know exactly where it came from. So, it, but it also doubles the cost of the wood. So the wood gets much more expensive if those three letters are after uh, the ePay. So make sure you note that stuff. Now, at, when you're putting your bid out to your general and uh, you put something together and it's you know an ePay system and you want to cut costs a little bit, there are other types of wood. Just because it says ePay on there, a lot of people are just calling it out because that's just what they know. So you can put your ePay and say it's going to end up being 30, 36 bucks a square foot for an ePay system. Um, and your, your actual wood tiles are, you know, they're 11, 12 bucks a square foot. Um, you could take it down to like a Kumaru, which is a typical, looks like, a lot like ePay and probably the more inexpensive of the woods. Um, it is, you know, a couple of bucks cheaper uh, a tile. So you can, you might be able to shave, you know, 75 to $1.50 a square foot off of the system by going to a Kumaru wood. So you can put a BD option out to your GC. Hey, here's my quote from the ePay system and buy some pedestals, you know, up to 12 inches. But, you know, if you guys go with Kumaru, we will save you uh, $14,000. You know, it's a, it's a $14,000 uh, uh, get back at that point. So just make sure you realize there are other types of wood. There are ePay, there's ePay FSC, there's uh, Kumaru, there's Kumaru FSC, there is um, Mossam Duba, there's Grappa, there's Mahogany. And uh, I believe there's there's one more, um, but there's a couple of there's a couple different types of wood uh, that are out there. So you're not just married to those. Or if you see other types of wood, we can also quote those to you. Uh, just let us know how we can help you, and hope this answers some of the questions that you have. Um, you know, we went over the type of tools that you need to cut, um, the waste, uh, how to do it. Um, big key factor why to use bison is the slope correction happens on the bottom, so you get zero to five percent. Out of out of a typical pedestal, um, you can actually double up the the base the bases to increase um, if you need to go beyond five percent. But the neat thing about bison is you have uh, uh, the slope correction on the bottom, so the pedestal is always standing straight up. So you know ninety degree angles is always is always a is better for distributing weight. So a lot of the other systems will pivot on the top or um, have slope correctors on the top, a ball joint on the top, which basically moves your pedestal at an angle and changing uh, the amount of um, weight distributed. Uh, weight, weight distri distri distributed. So just make sure that you, uh, you know, you know all that stuff or that's, that's just good stuff to know. Um, you are co correcting slope on a typical um, with the pedestals and the roof deck is set flat. So the, the actual tiles are flat and the, the, the correction happens all below. So that's kind of it in a nutshell. If you guys have further questions, shoot them back to me and we can uh, uh, try to do in another video and get them back to you guys. Thanks a lot for your time and have a good one. Take care.